A laser? Ooh, there you go. What is going on, everybody? Ooh, that's humid. We're doing something a little bit different tonight. I got the Dobsonian out because we just collimated the 11 inch SCT two nights ago, but the video is dropping in the morning. Movie magic, whatever. Nothing ever happens in the right order. It's kind of like time travel. But I know a lot of people out there have Newtonian or Dobsonians. Hell, I don't know. When was the last time you collimated your telescope? Because this one hasn't been collimated in like five years, so it's probably due. All I have is the collimator that it came with. It has a little target right here and a two inch adapter and then a laser. I don't know if you can see that or not. Ooh, there you go. We'll get to it. So let's get to it. there you will see the alignment circle of the mirror. So what we're going to do first is we're going to turn the laser collimator on. And we're going to shine it. You can see right now it's hitting the secondary mirror. And we're going to shine it down there. That's a lot brighter than I expected it to be. And don't mind the mirror. It is filthy because I don't use this scope as much as I ought to even though it's an amazing telescope. The laser is just above the alignment circle. The same thing with the SCT, but instead of using a screwdriver, you already have the knobs installed. So you'll adjust one knob, see what it does, adjust the other knob, see what it does, and just repeat until you get the laser in the middle of the circle. So we'll do that now. Bingo. So now our laser is right smack dab in the middle of that circle. So that's step one. So now from this angle, you want to make sure that your target is facing the back of the Dobsonian. So at the back of the telescope now, you can see a cooling fan. And then we have three locking knobs and three adjustment knobs. So we'll unlock the locking knobs and we will adjust the black knobs until we can see that laser disappear into the center of the target hole. So I'll move the camera over there so you can see it in action and we'll go from there. Texas weather strikes again. Humid as hell, look at that. But the scope is collimated. I actually got a wild hair and decided to put the planetary camera on there and shoot one sequence of Mars before it clouded up because it's gone now. I don't know, man. The results look pretty damn good. I mean, it is a 12 inch scope, so it will let in more light than the 11 inch, about half the focal length though, so the image scale is about half the size, but it's sharp. I sat here and edited it 
Uh, so I guess I'll post it probably tomorrow, whatever. Uh, but as far as anything else goes, it's cloudy and it's humid and ain't no other reason for me to be up tonight. So I will put all this crap away and until next time, see y'all later.